covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. The BBC Microbit mini computer, used by millions of school children around the world, is receiving its first major update since 2016. Formerly a BBC led project, it is now led by a foundation that aims to make coding accessible for children. The BBC Microbit is designed to inspire young people, providing the key knowledge, understanding, and skills to become creators, not just users, of technology. The latest version of the Microbit has all the features of the original and some fantastic extras, so you can learn and play in new and exciting ways. The new model includes a speaker and microphone, as well as a capacitive touch sensor. The device will be released in November, with prices starting at £11.50, a bit more than $14 US. Gareth Stockdale, chief executive of the Microbit Educational Foundation, said, The purpose of the Microbit is to help children unlock their creative potential and learn how to shape the world around them. He believes that learning coding and computational thinking can enhance skills that will help them in their careers in the 21st century. Since its launch, the Microbit has been designed for education, with an estimated 25 million children learning computer skills on the device in over 60 countries. The previous model launched in the UK in 2016, with the BBC giving away a free Microbit to every Grade 7 student. It is now used in most secondary schools as well as primary schools, universities, and libraries. The Foundation has also donated 5,000 devices to families in the UK to help with homeschooling during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Microbit is a palm-sized circuit board with an array of 25 lights that can be programmed to show letters, numbers, and other shapes, and a Bluetooth chip for wireless connectivity. As the hardware is most powerful, sorry, is now powerful enough to run machine learning systems, the Foundation has plans to expand into this area in future. Big thanks to Roy W. Nash and our community of viewers for submitting stories to us this week. Thanks for watching the Category 5.TV Newsroom. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all your tech news with a slight Linux bias. And if you appreciate what we do, become a patron at patreon.com slash category5. From the Category 5.TV Newsroom, I'm Becca Ferguson.